Hi there! You are about to watch World's Greatest Drag Race 10! 10 years! Can you believe we've been doing this 10 years? As Angus McKenzie said a decade ago, why are we doing this? Because we can! Also, it turns out it's a whole lot of fun. You might have noticed 2020 has been a bit weird. And as a result, we've been kicked off of the space shuttle landing strip, and instead we find ourselves here, in the middle of the desert. Now we're not gonna run 12 wide this year because we only have eight vehicles. And we're not gonna run eight wide because the road simply isn't wide enough. Instead, we're doing elimination style drag racing. Eight vehicles, we're gonna do six races to figure out the quickest two, and the winner of that race is the first car to 2021. Are you ready? Are you set? Let's go. Okay, heat number one, and it is a weird one. We have the Porsche Cayenne Turbo Coupe against a pickup truck. Not any pickup truck, it's a Ram T-Rex. The Porsche, that's 541 horsepower, all wheel drive, it's on sticky tires. The Ram, they don't like you saying this, but it's got the Hellcat motor, so it makes 702 horsepower, and of course, it's all wheel drive. Randy. Which one is gonna win? I'm going with the Hellcat powered T-Rex because it's a drag race. Superchargers and drag racing are a natural marriage. You've got 702 horsepower in the pickup truck <laughs> yeah. versus only 541 only. in the Porsche. It's also got 625 pound-feet of torque. Porsche's like 567. Now, there's a weight difference, but all-wheel drive seems to overcome weight, so. It's American excess versus German engineering. Yeah, boy, I think you're right. I think the Ram's gonna win. I hope it does. <laughs> well, probably the Porsche's gonna win. Anyways, all right. Okay, drivers, I'm gonna count you down from five. You're gonna go on go. Ready. Five, four, three. So much for American horsepower. I think the uh, the German uh, engineering won that one. Never couldn't even hear it though. That's true. That's true. I think the well, Porsche got a launch. Oh yeah. And then it sort of stayed there. The real question is like you know if a Porsche launches in the desert and you can't hear it, does it win? All right. Well, that was a very clear victory for the Porsche. Up next, we've got Chevy versus Ford. Hey, Randy, how much does that truck weigh? How about you, you European wannabe? We're all American on this side. I'll give you all American. Oh, you want to flex on me? Our second race brings us a classic, Ford versus Chevy, but it's not a Camaro versus the Mustang. It's a mid-engine Corvette versus the 760 horsepower GT500. Corvette, it's down on power, only makes 495 horsepower, but it's also down on weight. Uh, that Mustang is over two tons. Who's gonna win? Let's find out. You got nothing but ambient air pressure. I'm about to teach you a lesson called a weight transfer. I'm gonna rely on those 335 Michelin Sport Cup 2s. You're on some plain old 50,000 mile economy tire. Cause I don't need no cheater tires, man. My engine is sitting on the rear wheels. This thing is gonna take off like you ain't I'm gonna go stop them, hang on. Okay. <laughs> Sorry to interrupt, boys. All right, I'm assuming you're ready, so I'm gonna count you down from five. You're gonna go on go. 
Ready. Five, four, three, two, one, go! That thing is good off the line, Scott. All right, well, it looks like the Corvette eked out a victory. Mark, what happened? Corvette gets the whole shot. Mid-engine displaces the power to the rear wheels faster. It gets going a whole lot better. And besides, we're talking an incredibly light machine. It just flew down there. So yeah, the Mustang may be the bully, but the Corvette took the Mustang's lunch money. It's all about horsepower per pound, not horsepower per ton. Up next, we've got an Acura versus a Ferrari. The only reason the NSX exists was to beat Ferrari. In fact, the original NSX was so successful, it put all supercars back on the trailer and sent the engineers back to the drawing board. Today, we've got the new NSX against the F8 Tributo. Now, the Tributo makes a lot of horsepower, over 700, but it's only rear wheel drive. That Acura has an engine plus three electric motors. It's all wheel drive. It says super handling on it. I don't know what's gonna happen. Let's find out. I'm gonna count you down from five and you're gonna go on go. Ready? Five, four, three, two, one, go! Can you see? Can you see the pirate? Oh, yeah. oh man, I'm oh, my lord. technology for real. Well, <laughs> Scott, what happened? I mean, look, you got a lot of technology in both these cars, right? Ferrari's got horsepower, but it's also got all kinds of clever computers going on in the turbos. It just hooks and goes. And even though the Acura can take off real hard, I, 700 horsepower is just gonna run you down. That Ferrari whooped the snot out of the Acura. Up next, we've got a Porsche versus a Lamborghini. This next race is a bit of a family affair. You see, the Volkswagen Group owns Porsche and they own Lamborghini, and the similarities don't stop there. Both of these cars are all-wheel drive, they both have dual-clutch transmissions, and they almost make the same horsepower. 641 horsepower for the Porsche Turbo S and 631 horsepower for the Lamborghini Huracan Evo. That said, the Porsche makes a boatload more torque. However, that Lamborghini is quick. Who's gonna win? Let's find out. All right, Randy, all right, Walton. You're gonna go and go. I'm gonna count you down to five. Ready? Five, four, three, just left me and it was all over but the crying. Holy mackerel. Porsche's been doing this double clutch thing for more years than anybody, so they've got their launches down. I think we left spot on, but you were just gone. Well, that was a very loud race, but the Porsche is the clear winner. Scott, what happened? Some daggum turbocharger took the mustard right off that hot dog, I tell you what. <laughs> exactly. That's so it was the turbo torque that won the race. That's the end of Heat One. We got two more Eliminator races coming up before we get to the grand finale. One of the bigger stories of 2020 is that the Chevy Corvette has gone mid-engine. And now it's just like a Ferrari. So much so that if aliens came down from space, they would question like, why does the blue car cost $400,000 while the yellow one is under 100? I'm thinking this drag race is gonna show the aliens what's up. All right, boys, I'm gonna send you. I'm gonna count you down from five. You're gonna go on go. Ready. Five, four, three, two, one, go! Well, that ain't fair, y'all. That's just cruel and unnecessary. Well, Mr. Walton, uh, what happened? 
<laughs> what happened was horsepower. Yeah. 495 yeah. versus 711, you know? Right, It's right. just, it was impressive to watch the Corvette leave. They left at the same time, so they both have really good launch control, but then it was just all over. Right about the eighth mile, the, yeah. the, the Ferrari started walking away from it. From here, it looked like about 20 car lengths. <laughs> that was a race for about four yards, and then the rest was done. Yeah. Well, my uh, friends from another planet, that is why the Ferrari costs so much. Up next, we've got Porsche versus Porsche. Here we are, our final elimination race. We've got the Porsche 911 Turbo S against an orange SUV. Remember, back in 1985, Villanova beat Georgetown. So anything is possible in these crazy bracket situations. So yeah, I'm saying that the uh, orange Cayenne is Villanova, and I'm putting every penny I have on this green Georgetown right here. Boys, I'm gonna launch you. I'm gonna count you down from five. You're gonna go on go. Ready. Five, four, three, two, one, go! Wow, that was freaking incredible. And like a clock, does the same time, the same launch, every single time. Over and over and over again. It's unbelievable feat of engineering. This thing's ballistic. Well, Randy, care to uh, illuminate us as to what just happened? The Cayenne hasn't finished yet. Wait a minute. <laughs> it's just the laws of physics. It's just okay. a very powerful sports utility vehicle lined up against a very powerful sports car. Yeah, so the extra like 13, 1400 pounds it doesn't help the Cayenne Yeah, any. we'll have to put a trailer behind the 911 Turbo. All right, well, that was the elimination round. We know that the two quickest vehicles here are the Ferrari and the green Porsche. But we're not gonna do a quarter mile. We're gonna take it out to the half mile to see which is the winner of World's Greatest Drag Race 10. This is it. This is what we've been waiting for. This is the final battle. We've got the Porsche versus the Ferrari, and it's something of a classic, a Le Mans classic, a GT classic, a supercar classic. You know, I've been standing out here in the sun all day wearing this for cactus suit. Skevins, give me my helmet. Walton, out of that Porsche. I'm driving. Come on, out, out, out. All right, boys, this is gonna be a close one. I'm gonna count you down from five. You go on, go. Five, four, three, I had you in the corner, man. Quite a finish. Looks like the Ferrari reeled him in. Porsche got a really good jump there. Really nice, really nice off line. Yeah, Johnny got a beautiful jump and then the Ferrari just reeled him in. Porsche gets off the line every single time. That thing was moving, man. I mean, this Porsche is quick, but the Ferrari is fast. And that, friends, is the difference between quick and fast. So, the Ferrari beat the Porsche by five measly feet. Five puny, miserable feet. And thus concludes World's Greatest Drag Race 10. Maybe next year they'll put me in a car that can win one of these, who knows? Until then, I hope you have a great year. Thanks for watching, everybody.